What is an idle showdown? It's what happens when a corporation figures out it can have eternally good PR by branding itself entirely on marketable waifus. They lose their fucking mind. I don't know what this game is going for. It looks like shit. It plays like shit. It's free and it doesn't have microtransactions. What the fuck is this meant to be? What the fuck is this piece of shit? It's not a money making scheme, but it's also not a passion project. Because I have eyes. I know I should have sympathy for the Chinese child slave who made this animation, but he should be promptly executed for the betterment of the gene pool. But I know I'm not the target audience. I have had the misfortune of breathing near a woman at one point in my life. So I have little to no knowledge about VTubers, aside from what will piss them off, like this one being a man, and this one being railed by five black men while her husband was in the military. So maybe someone can help me out here. Didn't this bitch get executed for saying Taiwan was a country? Didn't Xi flatten her out with a tank? The Google machine say she willingly retired in 2021. The game came out in 2023. Are they puppeting around her decaying carcass? If true, Kino. I used the aforementioned corpse and the only one I actually know, for no reason in particular. NIGGER! But I must confess when I have a bad take. I thought a company founded on the notoriously funny Japanese humour comprised of nothing but women the funniest creatures would in fact not be funny. I'm a bridge. Dude, she turned herself into a bridge. Funniest shit I've ever seen. Now it's meant to be a fighting game and the reviews say it's the best one on the market. So let's play some online games to find out if it truly is. Oh, maybe no one's playing near me. Okay, maybe I need to refresh the list. Did you lie to me, Steam reviewers? Did you just give it a positive review so your waifu would maybe say your online name? Now each character has an extensive moveset of about 8 moves. You only need 2, because the online is deader than this bitch, and the AI is fundamentally retarded. Imagine Street Fighter, but it looks like shit. You only have 2 moves, and some Japanese dishwasher is autistically screeching constantly. I would feel bad shitting on this game if there was only one person making it, but no I wouldn't and it's made by about 70 fuckers. Now I've made a great discovery upon reading these credits. These ones are gay. Don't ask me how I found out, it was a big secret. I'm gay! There are two playable game modes. What a fucking nick. Arcade and whatever this shit is. It's full of references. And to figure them out, I'd have to unironically watch a VTubers, and I'm fucking retarded. But I'm not that retarded. At the end of the arcade, you fight the final boss. I don't know who this is. You then unlock a cosplay. Again, probably some reference. But let's look at the one we unlocked. Not this one. No, not this one either. Nick. 